there's apparently something out here I can collect. Leave no stone unturned, as they say. Oh, it's a new area. Okay. Then never mind. I suppose I'll find a diamond key when I get to it. area. Here we go. There we go. Oh. Shoot. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be stuck here. Well, no getting back up that way. Alright, let's see if my, my bet paid off. If they're going to if they're going to let me, like, save here immediately what in the bed that's not the case great like Lana Del Rey oh dear oh my you seem to be stranded in the basement how do I get out of here Ricky oh having a clue never come down here myself okay. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? What's so interesting about the roof? Down here's much more intriguingly musty. Unrelated, how do you feel about blunt force head trauma? What is it this time? Uh -oh. Well, Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor thing. But he's a little obsessed with uh, organic maintenance. Tends to pop out of pipes and clobber people with his wrench. Same. Great. Are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Elegance. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. <laughs> wow, you're so courageous and stuff. Look, I gotta go wash my hair. I go sabotage more stuff. Stupid puppets. Honestly, fair. Oh, I'm still moving fast. Huh. That's interesting. I thought I, would, I wouldn't be moving fast anymore, but it's enough that I can't. Alright, I don't have any maps yet. Let me just uh, try a few doors. Oh, wait. No, there you go. I'm trying to find it right now. It was really cool to have it though while I was there. But um, yeah, I, I much prefer this beat. This beat. Um, I'll just do the chocolate achievement and some other run. We've been all so alone in the shadows. Alright, stay away from pipes, he said. Okay. That's where Ray can pop out. None of these pipes seem open, so I think it should be okay. Right. Oh, that map. I gotta find the map first. Get 
suit! over. City Tribune, Friday, by 4th, 1972. So about three? No. Yeah, three years after the uh, the show went on the air. War is over. After 20 years of fighting, the city government has finally prepared a complete withdrawal of troops from the North Continent. Called the War of Horrors, the conflict, which mainly involved guerrilla confrontation rainforests, resulted in almost 100,000 casualties. Unlike previous homecomings, Veterans turned to the city's main docks for food and hist. Like the negative attitude of many adults towards those who volunteered to serve in the war, hoping to protect their home, but in the eyes of the public, helping to perpetrate those horrors. The Northern War has also been called the first part fought in the living room, due to the televised newsreels that kept civilians at home up to date with events overseas. Ah, it's an allegory for. But it's a. An allegory. Well, I guess an allegory is the right word. I think it's an allegory for the um, Vietnam War with America. Okay, there's two doors. There's the main door here and the side door over there. But I would assume the map's probably one of through, one, through one of these first. I live in your TV set. That's right. It's the strangest place to be. Inside of your he said Ray would come to the pipes. Flyers and tips and a big, big tube running right to the back. What do I eat? Oh, I eat the channels that you never watch. One by one, they fall prey to my jaws. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, if you still go, take some time. I'm here to educate the children. They will clamor until you're you need a press Let's go. Dang it. <laughs> I was trying to be careful. But it's been working out. Well it's it is. Does really hurt. I agree. Rats? Oh, rat puppets. Huh. Okay, left or right. It's that stage over there. Gosh dang it. Alright, I'm gonna keep following the um, the arrows for now until I get a map. Real worried about not having a save point here, but it is what it is. Hello, more rat, more rat puppets. 
Very cute. Okie dokie. Yeah. Hmm. Don't like that. Oh, right, they get back up. Oh, sure is, uh, sure oh home, so you just kind of oh, maybe I can uh, talk to my, that. my echo. Hello. Nope. Oh, hello. Oh, hey there. Nope. Please give me a save point. Is this a save point? This seems like a puzzle. Are you giving me more puzzles? Uh oh! Don't fall. Sure. Three. Oh, there's more to it. Okay. To all personnel, due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch card combination. Please insert the appropriate punch cards in the three terminals to open the door. In the event you've lost your punch cards, this machine can be used to print replacements. Oh, nice. Well, obviously, I don't have the, uh, the cards, but. Where does this lead? Back to the main area, I'm guessing. Oh, no, actually. A new area. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, sanctuary. Oh, sanctuary. I don't have any tokens, though. Oh, the map. Okay, I will take the map. Yep. Square is plus two. Triangle is minus one. Circle is plus six. You didn't give me tokens though, game. Ga game. I need I need tokens. I can't save without them. Okay. I guess I'm on my own. Well, isn't this nice? No, there. Tokens. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. The smart thing to do would be to heal and then save. However, if I want to be able to make progress, and also, what do you call this? Um, be able to get back here and save at some point. What I'm going to do instead is going to use this, and I'm just going to save here once, and then maybe I'll come back to save again later. Although, at some point soon, I will have to pause to, like, eat food. Indeed. And it's been going in and out. I'm not really sure why. Like, a lot more than usual. Like, Anson goes in and out to, um, drink water and, you know, pee outside. Um, because he's a very good boy. But, he's been doing it, like, every 40 or 30 minutes now. Which is hey unusual. I live in your TV set. The strange TV Jenkins. Oh, wait. Good. 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 I wonder if it means that. I, I do wonder if that means that uh, those airs are tied together or not. I'm not entirely sure. Hey! Who's there? That's Ray. Shakes. 
Real dark. Hang on, let me lower the brightness on my on my ring light. No, I can still kind of barely see. Yeah, it's gonna chase me for sure. Disgrace, and your can all over the place. We will, we will rock you, rock you. We will, we will rock you. <laughs> Sorry, just a bit of levity there. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Yes, come back in. Maybe because of the rain. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's feeling colder than usual. Uh, it's not unusual to feel cold at any time. Do do. Uh, display more contrast, please. That didn't help. And I can kind of see him now, but it's still real dark. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here yet. Oh, hang on. Interior, Ray's workshop, day. As Stevie and Ricky enter, Ray's workshop is overflowing with Norma's plasma sewage. Ray, where are you? Ray must have managed large plasma sludge solely. Eyes downcast. Ray, what gives? Everyone's things are overflowing. All the drains are clogged up with junk. Ray grunts half heartedly. I see. Someone made fun of her plumbing, and now you're too embarrassed to keep on working. Ray whimpers and nods. A pipe pile some drones. A few more gunk on the going pile. Ray, if we don't get this cleared up soon, isn't the sewer going to blow up in this entire city? Ray, sometimes people make fun of us, even when we're doing the right thing. That's just how people are. You can't let them tell you how to be friendly. Huh. I feel like these two plots don't really connect. Uh, one is like being friendly and being nice about someone's hobbies and work. The other is about the city blowing up, which I find a bit concerning. Alright. Pull the lever, Kronk! Oh! Jeez, that gave me a scare! What was that? Ah, uh, okay. I see now. I didn't have to raise the contrast. He was just in the dark. Like, actually in the dark. Okay, uh, punching, punch cards, machine. Yes, it is upside down. Hang on. <laughs> I realize I don't have to physically turn my head around. <laughs> I could have just gone around. <laughs> uh, looks like part of it's missing. Oh, I see. So we got to find the part. And I bet I'm gonna have to find it here. Interesting thing, he does not seem to like the light. Hello, rats. Don't mind me, I'm just looking for stuff. Okay. 
He didn't come to knock me knock me out, which I appreciate. Oh, letterbox. Okay, so I think that was very helpful. I don't think I have the part I need, and I think I'll have to explore a different part of the area first. Just uh they keep giving me these shells and I can't use them yet. Back up to. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll save it. I'll save it. I, I will kind of like, get myself back to healthy, but like, I might get overconfident if I do that. Okay, that's how I couldn't get up. Those stairs were also like behind a cage. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Got it. These are the same doors, right? Yes. Okay. I think I remember in the demo that there was a there was a bug of a puppet that you could talk to here and respond to a million different puppets. Might not be the specific hallway, but like I was reminded of it. Yeah, move past here first. Oh, he's one of the he's not great now. He doesn't want to get He doesn't want to get the save point. Let's try again, but make the biohazard simple instead. Alright, here we go. You stuck! You need a preference! Oh man, that's gonna hurt. Hang it. <coughs> yep. This is why I didn't use the hotbox yet. What happens when who are you? Why are you? Okay. Phew. Can I talk with the puppets? Um, earlier we did. Um, one of the puppets was actually really nice. The giant bird that was chasing us around. We helped find a pair of glasses, and she was like very docile and didn't hurt us anymore. Which, you know, again, very, very nice. There's more stuff here, of course. But I don't have a key for that box. Oh. I think what I did today is step through the door that I just exited through. So some of them we can probably talk to. And I imagine I could probably help Ray as well. What does Norman notice? Well, let's see. Don't notice me. What does Norman notice? Nothing. You don't notice anything. Cease. Alright, so we know that we're safe here. Who's there? I'm just gonna go ahead and see through this. Take the scripts. Push the button. Get a nice pair of overalls. Or what was that? Real cool looking jacket. Gotta appreciate a good sense of style there. Alright. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go again. Hi. Just stealing some tools. You don't mind, do you? I hope not. Okay. Once more into the breach. Let's 
He's gonna come out here now. I don't like that I use so many bullets, but I think it was worth it just to get past here because there was two of them. Is that cap stock? Hey, no worries, no worries. Okay. Making progress. Make, making progress. Okay, so he doesn't seem to pop out of every pipe. I think he only pops out of like the bigger pipes. Why am I having bad feels on those pipes, right? I think we're, we should be safe though. Alright. Here I go again, killing. Hallway thing to pick up. Good to know, good to know. I appreciate that the um, Puppet Pals made me a map that's magic and tells me exactly if things are in the um, area or not. It doesn't tell me where everything is, but it is something. Where is Junebug's house from? I'm gonna walk past right now. Boat? Huh. Boat. Okay. The battery in my truck is dead. The one thing though, I don't think the puppet towns are actually killing us when they get us all the way down to our last hill. I think they just knock us out. And then we get fired from our job because, you know, we didn't take them off the air or whatever. Uh oh, if wet, don't walk. Oh my god, seems to be the implication. Locked under side. Of course it is. Hel hello? A swanky room. Oh, oh, oh. Tax Adventure Diary, April 16, 1974. I was hanging around the office last night, keeping pipes from freezing, so I had time to work out the kinks on my latest project. The output's pretty flashy, but it uses a lot of letters, so I need to conserve ammo. What did you make? Hey Hank, uh, what is it, and where is it, and can I have it? You give it to me. I need it, whatever it is. The Mystic Maze. Suriru, be friendly to our neighbors. Keep quiet on set during filming. When the red lights are on, it is a hot set. It is tricky enough to quiet the neighbors. Gas not permitted. During filming, unless previously allowed by production, all visitors must sign our blanket FMDA. Neighbors are kept only in the same area and not permitted access to heavy machinery unless it's is required by the script. Their safety is our liability. Avoid equipment you aren't familiar with. No swearing on the neighbors. Our felt friends are highly suggestive. Got it. Cables, wires, and cords are to be taped down at two feet intervals. Stepping or standing cables can cause long term damage. Dangerous materials such as scissors, tape, and toxic products like paint thinner, loony glue, etc., are to be kept on high shelves out of reach of neighbors. They have longer arms than you think. Be mindful of the soil staff. It is their job to empty the trash from the bins. It is not their job to pick up the litter. It is their job to polish the floors. It is not their job to clean up mud from muddy boots. Huh. Really? The janitors don't. Pick up litter? Oh, huh, that's interesting. Their only job is to polish the floors. Huh. Generally keep the studio in the same condition as found. Your future self will appreciate when you return for the next production. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be here back, sure. Sure, sure. Ah, this is the novelist. <laughs> Volume 2. I get it. 
Vocations. Find the Let's novice. get writing. Press Elgin R B to talk to novice. Let's get to writing, he said. Not bad, not bad. Okay, but I have limited inventory space now because of it. Which is not great for me. Can I uh, use these? Afraid not. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. All good then. I still have a good amount of health. I think I can uh, save that for later. Anything else in this room? Yes, there is something else in this room. Right. Trigger keeps getting stuck. <gasps> Tokens! Okay. Good for saving. If, you know, Rave was in front of the save station. But it is what it is. We'll take the customers that we can get. Oh, we'll serve anyone and to anyone at all. So, for the hardest achievement in this game. You have to be in the hardest difficulty without saving. And I think I am not super capable of that. So when I do the completion run of that one, I think I'm going to turn cheats on. So, I almost going to do a run uh, without healing in the, nor in the lowest difficulty to see if there's any goodies I missed. Yeah, that's the boat area. Okay. Sleeping can be the best part of your day. I always start by getting ready for bed. First, I get my PJs on so I can be warm. Okay, door is on uh, oh, upper left. Next, I go to the bathroom and grab my toothbrush. I mean, obviously, there'll be stuff to pick up here, but I can't risk it. Mayonnaise. Then I start hey. Sorry. That was destructive. Yes, we did come back. Oh, you're asking if like we are coming back to the uh, the studio like we are an employee? No, I don't think so. Um, I think we're just we really are just like a handyman who's like being put to work here. Okay, this room feels safe. Also, it has a weird drawing on it. I don't trust it. Okay. All good. Ooh, what's this? Metal piece. Oh, the metal piece we need. Perfect. Okay. Wow, we're making a lot of progress. Holy cow. Let's say I came off a plug. I ain't gonna do anything by itself. Sure. Sure. My inventory is getting so full. Ain't half bad would be made of junk. Man, it's made of literal junk. And because I opened it, I think that means from now on, he's just gonna be in there whenever I open this door again. Yes! That was not a sound I made before. It's Pirate Cove, a triumph for the family. Original Lightsberry, four to five stars. The City Tribune, Thursday, August 16, 1973. 
a year after the war. As the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise grows, it was inevitable for Gertzwald's precocious puppets to make the move to the big screen. Fortunately, the first outing is appealing to more than just a young crowd. Everything, from the sumptuous sets to the scintillating score, brings the swashbuckling spirit of theater in a way that both children and adults can appreciate. The plot centers around a young lad named Clark, Jerry Love, of everyone fame, who sets sail with the puppet in search of treasure. They soon, however, discover that the terrifying Captain Crocodile is in control of the ship, and it's up to Clark and his plucky sea hand friend Ricky to continue the keyboard. Please do the last thing. No, there's more I haven't collected yet. Use these. Yes, I can. Okay, I want to. I want to preserve those as much as I can. No, I can't use it. Okay. In that case, I might as well use it. There's something else in here that I haven't picked up yet. Oh, there's a lockbox. But I don't have a key for it. Gosh, dang it. I'm gonna have to be back here, and he's gonna be awake when I get back here at, at some point. Uh, okay, all right, all right, okay, that's fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. I'm, I'm just gonna go. You, you guys have fun. You can ring my 